AI in After Effects is a game changer. It can allow creative super concepting abilities, but with so many garbage plugins out there, it might be a bit daunting to know which ones are gonna be the best for you. So today we're gonna go over the best plugins for After Effects that utilize the latest in AI and machine learning tech. Now you may be like, Nate, why would I ever want AI or machine learning in After Effects? Well, I think you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of this video because you might just change your view about how AI can be integrated into your workflow. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. So before we jump in, let's talk about why AI in After Effects is such a big deal. Imagine having a digital assistant that not only speeds up your workflow, but also brings your wildest creative concepts to life. That's what these AI plugins are all about. However, a word of caution, you're gonna need a good GPU to handle them, and they might be a bit buggy as they're on the cutting edge of technology. Not all are widely used in professional settings yet, but hey, they're incredibly fun to explore, so let's get started. First up, we have Mask Prompter, which is super cool because it lets you intelligently create mats in After Effects using a number of interactive controls. I know After Effects has the Roto Brush tool, but let's be honest, it may be impressive, but you still have to roughly draw over what you want masked, and there's annoying frame rate mismatch issues. Well, with Mask Prompter, you can either use a point to select an object or use text based prompts and AI to create masks and rotoscopes that you can control interactively. It's crazy fast, accurate, and I'm blown away at the experience of using this. It's honestly hard to put into words just how magical it is to be able to type in something and it instantly get masked. The way it handles text inputs is through mask layer names, and even though the plugin functionally works well and is cleverly organized, it could have a prettier UI, but at that point, I'm nitpicking. I'm really impressed by the way the matte cleanup also works to where you can improve the quality based on a simple preset option which will slow down your render time, but looks so much better. This plugin can be found at AE Scripts and it's a little pricey, but you can just click on the try button and you're gonna get to be able to use the full mask prompter with a red X watermark to test it out for yourself before committing to a purchase. Anyways, links are gonna be down in that description box. Mask prompter gets a big fat black mixture stamp of approval. Here we have Neural Enhancement Suite, which boasts a set of AI based tools to clean up your footage. It can reduce and remove motion blur, use AI denoising, AI defocus deblur, recolorization, and a host of other video enhancement features that will really take your footage to the next level. At the moment, this plugin is $80 on AE scripts, which is super pricey in my opinion, but then again, there's not too many native AI video enhancement features like this in After Effects. Next, we have Depth Scanner, which lets you instantly create realistic depth maps from your footage. This is super helpful because let's say you want to apply more bokeh to a scene or composite elements in 3D space realistically with the right amount of depth of field and positioning, well, a depth map is gonna be super helpful for achieving that. Now, typically you would only have an accurate depth map from a depth sensor camera or from a 3D render pass, but using this tool, we can have AI generate a usable depth map from pretty much anything. This helps create a bunch of cool effects and I'm happy to see how AI can help compositors save time and headache while also empowering a whole slew of cool stuff like scan line effects, adding fog, and even realistic camera lens perspectives. Depth map puts powerful AI depth map processing in After Effects and it's a game changer which gets a big fat black mixture stamp of approval. Last up, we have Concept Buddy, which brings the power of stable diffusion to After Effects. Now, I've used something similar in Blender in the past, which has allowed me to just use rough shapes and a text prompt to make a much more detailed image. It really is impressive and super powerful for concepting something quickly. And it's also really fun to just play around with funny ideas. I think the UI could be a little bit better, and I'm a fan of image generators that lean into showing user style presets and help the users ideate, but maybe that's something that could get implemented down the line into this one. As it stands, Concept Buddy is still a really fun way to ideate in After Effects using AI and stable diffusion. And for that reason, it gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. Here we have i8 Mushrooms, which is a super fun plugin to play with. It creates all sorts of abstract and hypnotizing animations from text descriptions, and it uses over a thousand base categories of objects and beings to use for your AI image generation. Now, the results of this look super trippy, and I can't imagine any sort of professional setting to use this for, except maybe for some sort of trippy music video. 
or insane drug sequence. I've been seeing all sorts of AI techniques getting used in music videos, and if you're looking for a really quick and easy way to get something like this in After Effects, i8 Mushrooms is gonna be your go-to plugin. Now, these AI plugins were great, but there are so many awesome things that you can do in After Effects without spending any money or using any third-party plugins at all. And for that, you're gonna wanna check out this video in which we talk about the best 30 effects built right into After Effects. There's so many effects on this list that are useful useful for not only fun, creative settings, but also for handling professional projects. I think you guys are going to want to go ahead and check out that video. If this is your first time on the channel, you're going to want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.